Buying a house is most likely the largest investment you will make in your lifetime, so you want to make sure that you do it well, right? Hi, I'm Sarah Vislowski with Keypoint Homes Group, a local real estate team serving the North Metro Atlanta area, and since I specialize in helping clients from all over the country and world move right here in Georgia, I have seen many different approaches people take to this process. Let me tell you, some are a lot smoother than others. So what are some major regrets buyers have had about moving to Georgia? One of the first things you might regret when relocating to Georgia is buying a house you have never seen in person or buying a home when you've never even visited the state. That's right, we have people who will buy a home here when they've never even visited Georgia or it's been several years since they've done so. Now, we have helped a lot of families buy homes they have never seen before, but shockingly, none of them have had any regrets and loved the homes they bought and the area that they ended up in. I would like to say that's because we can give such great virtual tours and are such great eyes and ears on the ground. Sometimes, you know, people have to relocate for work and they have to be within a certain mile radius of their new job and they don't really have a choice on the matter so they don't have much flexibility in what town they end up living in. But it's not uncommon for us to get phone calls from people who say they, you know, visited the area several years ago, they really enjoyed it while they were here and they want to move. We can't recommend an exploratory trip now. Many times people will call and say, where should I live? Well, that is a great question. We can ask you questions about what exactly you need in a town. Do you have to be within a certain distance of a job? Do you want to be close to restaurants and shopping? Or would you rather never see your neighbors at all? Do you want to be in a neighborhood so that your kids can meet friends? Or do you want to be able to park an RV in the driveway and need to be out of a subdivision? What budget are you comfortable with? These are all things that we can use to help narrow down an area that we might think best fits your lifestyle and needs. But at the end of the day, if you have never spent time in the area, you aren't going to know what it's truly like until you are living there. If you have time before you make a move to come spend a few days in the towns that you have narrowed on your list, even that small amount of time is going to shed a ton of light on the area for you and help you make that decision. We've had clients who completed their move here and after a year or so decided they wish they focused on another area. I recently interviewed a client who really here from California. Make sure you go check out that video. But one of the things he said that they wish they would have done is chosen a more slower paced area and one that wasn't so busy. It's a much smaller town from where they came from in California, but he wanted to be a lot more off the grid. Now his wife likes the area that they chose, which was Buford, because of all the great amenities and shopping. But he thinks now they would have liked to move to an area that was a little bit further out where they could still access all the great stuff, but not live so close to it. This is another regret, not spending more time in the area you have decided you want to buy in. Like we just talked about, sometimes people don't really have an option, but most of the time they do. Then they get one or two towns stuck in their mind and those are the only places they focus their search or they are very closed off to other areas that we recommend, even if their money will get them a lot further they're there. To me, the perfect scenario is when clients come into town and they spend the first few days driving around the areas they are considering to make sure they can actually envision themselves living there. Then they drive around to the other areas we have recommended and see if they like the look and feel of those places as well. Then we can get together and focus our search in the areas that they have already determined that they want to live. You have to think about what your everyday life is going to look like. How far are you going to drive to school, the grocery store, work, and what whatever the places you find yourself regularly going to. Is the neighborhood you are interested in located on a main road? Is it too far away from your everyday needs? Is it too close to something that would be a pain? Drive to your new office during rush hour and see if it's a commute you can make on a daily basis. You have to think about the whole picture and not just the house itself. Another mistake people make when relocating is putting themselves in a huge time crunch. We frequently get phone calls from people who say, hi, I listed my house a few weeks ago. It's under contract now and I only have 30 days to move to Georgia. And then they tell us that they're not interested in renting a home and they want to directly move into a home. Can you help me? <sighs> yes, we can, and it's not impossible, and we've had many people do this very thing, but it certainly makes it a very stressful process for you as a buyer. People have a tendency to throw caution to the wind when they are under a massive time crunch, and they will settle on an area or for a home that they just don't truly love 
just because they only have 30 days to get it done. That virtually gives us no time for the actual house search. The standard transaction time here is about 30 days in Georgia, which means we have to shorten the actual closing process and hope that your lender and the closing attorneys are all able to get everything done in that quick time frame. And that also only leaves us just a few short days for actually finding the house. This can make things really difficult, not impossible, but very stressful for you as a buyer. Once you're under all that stress, you are more than likely going to settle for something that you will make work. Then you're going to move into the house and you're going to realize it wasn't quite what you wanted, but you just had to do whatever you could to move to the area. And you're going to have regrets about the town you chose or the house. Maybe it just wasn't big enough for you and your family or some other thing. Now that the market has kind of regulated, we are seeing buyers get offers accepted with home to sell contingencies. And what this means is that we actually have a safety net built into the contract that allows you to terminate if the sale of your home terminates in whatever state you are relocating from. Of course, it is desirable to line up the sale of your home in whatever state you are moving from with the purchase of your home here in Georgia. That way you can send your funds straight on from closing attorney or the title company, let's say, if you're closing on a home in California, right down here to Georgia. And that way you don't have to rent a house or stay in a hotel in between. But we have to be very strategic in this process. And that process can be so much smoother working directly with the agent that is listing your home for sale from wherever you're moving from. We have many great partners all throughout the country. And the smoothest relocation happens when we help match you with a local real estate agent in your town. When we're able to connect on both sides of the process, it can make things much smoother and less stressful for you. Now, the flip side of that regret is taking too much time to make a move. People will reach out and say they want to wait until interest rates drop, which by the way, they're never going to get down to pandemic levels again. So you're going to be waiting a while if that is your deciding factor. People will often say, we're just going to wait for house prices to drop. And quite frankly, we just haven't seen that happening and we don't anticipate that going forward. It's really hard sometimes working with buyers who are struggling to move forward on their first purchase and knowing that the longer they wait, the harder it is going to be. Now, I'm not saying it's the right time for everyone to buy a home because it's not, but if you plan on being in an area for several years and you want to invest your money, buying could be a huge win for your family. Your first home won't always be perfect, but it will earn you equity and you will be able to use that equity in the future when you are ready to search for that real perfect home. If you rent, you are throwing away that money every single month by paying someone else's mortgage instead of your own. Just like home prices aren't getting cheaper, neither is rent. The last regret buyers having is not using a great agent. You need someone in your corner who is a strong negotiator, knowledgeable about the market, and has your best interest at heart. If you are considering moving to Georgia, I would love to be that agent for you. It's been such a joy helping hundreds of families call this great state of Georgia home, and it is my passion to educate you on the good, the bad, and the ugly of real estate. If you're interested in buying or selling a home, I would love to help you through the process. And if you're looking in an area I don't service, I know someone who does that will provide you the same great level of service. You can find my content information below this video. You can sign up for our newsletter to stay up to date on all things moving to Georgia. The link for that is below. Make sure you watch this next video for more information moving to Georgia.